It's a, been a, a very hectic time in the coffee buying world. Adam Pesci is pretty obsessed with coffee. But it isn't caffeine keeping him up these days. Coffee prices have gone through the roof. They're up 75% year over year. For a company like Reunion Coffee Roasters, the skyrocketing price of coffee bean futures is a huge deal. And industry experts say everyone needs to be ready to pay more for their daily coffee fix. I think we'll see significant price increases at the grocery store. If these prices hold, there is no way that coffee roasters and, and cafes and restaurants will be able to hold their prices where they are. Based on our current trajectory, he says prices are set to rise 15 to 20 percent over the next few months. And that's because the world's two largest coffee producing countries, Brazil and Vietnam, are dealing with devastating conditions caused by climate change. This 50-year-old Brazilian coffee producer says he's never seen a drought like this. And this producer in Vietnam says the climate changes are too erratic to keep up with. The price their beans fetch on global markets is up, but their yields are down. We're starting to hear that some farmers are abandoning coffee as a crop because it's too variable, it's not predictable enough. And many of these farmers are subsistence farmers and they can't really afford a crop failure. The taste of your daily cup could change too, especially if you drink espresso or instant coffee. As there is less availability of good beans, we have to use more of the poorer beans from other markets or, or from the lower end of the crop. For some, the coffee bean crisis highlights the impact of climate change. This is a way that the, the climate change narrative is really going to hit home. It's, it, it hits home in our pocketbooks. The scary part is, is that we're not at the peak yet of where coffee prices could go. Anne Gaviola, Global News, Toronto.